So I would call myself um, a Syrian American Muslim um, filmmaker, writer, director, and I also act in some of my stuff. But I think even whether I'm directing or I'm acting, I think it was hard for me to like even relive those experiences again because it just felt so like I feel like I've moved on from that point in time so going back in time and doing the short shorts and hiding and all the things that I was doing um to try to almost mold myself into um this this daughter that I thought that my parents wanted um was very tough because I feel like again I've grown that's why I feel like once you grow you're able to make art <laughs> about things that at one at one point were very was a very difficult thing to face. So I went to Sunday school and you know I learned I tried to learn Arabic in Sunday school. I learned the Quran, like I was reciting surahs. I used to know so many surahs as a kid, like I could name you at least 10 surahs. I had them memorized. Um and you know, I think at first I was just going along with like, you know, what my dad was teaching me in school and just doing what I was supposed to be doing, but then I think as I was growing up, I think it became very clear that I was othered within my community like I wasn't really around a lot of other Arab kids or a lot of other Muslim kids so it's like you know why do I feel so different and why does different feel bad I think I said okay these differences are making me feel bad so I want to be as like the people around me as possible so I can feel some sense of belonging some sense of community so that was my logic. So I did not want to learn Arabic anymore. I totally like said, I am not Muslim. I don't want to call myself that. Um, and I hated going to Eid celebrations. I hated going to the mosque. And honestly, very slowly, like I kind of just, my dad stopped pressuring us. And I was slowly coming up with the idea of short shorts. And I was slowly thinking of the way I grew up and how there are a lot of like unresolved emotions like within me in terms of like how different I felt growing up and how bad it made me feel and why did I feel that way and where were those feelings coming from and who like what what right did other people have to make me feel bad like why did I allow myself to feel bad about myself like I'm j I was just being myself like you know so I think that after college I really started to unlearn all the hateful patterns of I would even call it self-hate to a certain extent. Um, and these feelings of negativity I had towards my culture and my religion um, that felt very informed by just, you know, my environment, just like a Western environment that sort of tells you that like, you know, you should try to assimilate. I had a very strong moment where I realized that being Arab American and being Muslim were strengths and there are strengths that informed my identity in ways that I really feel benefited me as a person and benefited um, me as a storyteller because I had so much to say and so many of my experiences that I went through were important stories to tell. So I felt I did a total like 360 and I now took these identifiers that made me feel, you could call it ashamed, embarrassed, feel bad about myself and it were they were just the pillars of like my artistry and the pillars of me as a person just because I was like, wow, I actually feel so empowered by the fact that I'm so, so like being Arab and being Muslim give me these values and these ideas and these certain ways of like existing and thinking about life. And I was taught so much that I don't think I realized were informed by those identities. And suddenly it just made me feel so strong. And I was like, I love that my art is you know so I, I love that I'm the only one that can tell these stories